This is the Hyperwall, the 10 by 3 meter focus of a new exhibit at the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History in Washington. The exhibit is called NASA's Earth Information Center. The NASA staff members who worked on it say that one of the best ways to learn about the changes taking place on Earth is to interpret them visually. Visualizations really uh, can, can bring a much deeper understanding of, uh, of what we're seeing from space than you know, a report can. So that's, the, that's why we're using this tool. The hyperwall reflects changes as they occur on Earth. It displays an astounding amount of data. It can show where exactly on Earth carbon dioxide is concentrated in the highest quantities and track the dynamics of light and noise pollution on the planet. 25 satellites and numerous land-based sensors collect the information that NASA shares with visitors. We're actually getting real-time data that accumulates if we see long-term patterns. On the Keeling curve, which is the curve that shows the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere over the last 64 years. And that's one of the most compelling curves in science. The multiple visualizations amaze not just visitors, but seasoned scientists as well, who are accustomed to oceans of data. One of my favorite visualizations is the one that shows all of the ocean currents. And that's, uh, and it's color-coded with temperature. And that's because we are an ocean planet. The oceans store the vast majority of the energy that comes in from the sun, and those slow meandering currents move that heat all around the planet, and that's what makes life possible on Earth. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson, who flew aboard the Columbia Space Shuttle program in 1986, says projects like this one have immense educational value and hopefully inspire visitors to recognize their role in taking care of the planet. Everybody on planet Earth can become co-stewards of preserving this beautiful, colorful creation that is suspended in the middle of nothing. And that is planet Earth. The exhibit will be open to the public until 2028. For Andrei Zerkach in Washington, NRI's VOA News.